Okay, we've got our nanotube, we've got our drop weight. I'm going to start, I'm going to put a butt on this fly. Remember how we were, we still do, got some great stuff laying around that we dub our loops, but here is, this is an EP Harry tarantula brush, the one inch, and we're going to put a butt on this fly. I think that's fuchsia too, I think it sort of looks I mean, it is pink, and fuchsia is kind yeah. of pink, but yeah. I think that's the color. So this is stainless steel wire, so don't use your scissors. You can use wire cutters. These are Dr. Slick uh, barb crimpers, and they have a serrated scissor. Now, I, I, I didn't cut that super close. I'm just going to push that piece of wire back with my thumb. I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to use the half-inch hairy tarantula the tarantula hairy legs brush for the body and this really uh, gosh it makes it easy to tie these flies now fishing heavy water the 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 nanotube the tube itself has some weight to it and then you add the drop weight to it and it's it really puts you in the game and these things have a wire core too, so I mean, it's, there's it's, more weight with that. Yeah, it, it's a it's a stainless steel wire core, and um, when I spin my own loops, I like to use copper. But for m gr mass manufacturing, you've got to use stainless steel. So make sure you use something appropriate to tie it with. Now, this is an EP Foxy brush. This is Kingfisher Blue. It's actually got black tips on it. You're, you know, you may be stunned already at how easy this fly is to tie. I'm only going to put two turns on this fly because that's plenty. It gives you that hint of blue. Because this stainless steel wire is so substantial, you only need a couple of turns, two to three turns, to hold it down. Now I've got a piece of fur here. This is um, the Pro Brand Fin Raccoon. Pro Sport Fisher. Pro Sport Fisher. Uh, comes in a square patch. It's, uh, it's not a round tail section. This is really nice. It's got some text, a fair amount of texture in the under fur, and you know when you get it down to a science, you can cut off just exactly the right amount. Uh, I usually wind up cutting off more than I need, and I'm just pulling out this under fur so I don't have too much bulk in this wing. You can tie a fairly long wing with this. I don't want to overdo it. So I'm going I'm going to go a little bit past the butt so that my hook is going to be riding right at the rear of this fly. And I like to trim the butt of the wing first. Some people just tie on that wing as a clump and then they trim it. I just find it easier to go like that. Well that stuff compresses nicely. It, it, well it, it, uh, it compresses and it holds. Now, if you want to, put a little dab of cement there. So this is um, crinkle flash. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's it's got these little crinkles. It's like mirror lateral scale. It's lateral scale. Really I cool. love it. Yeah, good stuff. I love it. And Art. I th I think I have three strands there. Some people like to carefully position them on each side. They call that uh, horns or cheeks. I find it very effective. I just folded that under the thread run it right along the top, make it a little bit longer than the wing. 
I could slide a cone on right now, but I'm going to use a, this is a one and a half inch foxy brush. We used the three inch blue. I'm going to use the one and a half, about, about two turns of the purple on the head. And one thing you'll notice, this, the, the Pro Nano Tube is considerably longer than the micro tube but it accepts the same hook guide and my preference is I, I really like these again think about all the times we made our dubbing loops and the amount of time this saves us I mean, at this point, that Pro nanotube is actually beyond the needle, yeah, but it yeah. doesn't matter. Now, I have uh, spoken with the company representatives. I said, you guys, if you're going to make a longer tube, you need to make a um, a thingy. A um, longer needle. A needle. I'm actually off the end of the needle there, but it's okay because I'm not putting that much tension on it. I'm going to trim this. Now you could, if you're all set up with your clear cure goo, you could use it. What you're looking at doing is locking down that thread. Oh no, I dropped a sonic cone on the ground. I'm going to s gently slide this off. And Chris is trying to follow with the camera. Hope he's doing well. Push that on. I have my razor blade. Trim it. Now people hold their flame in different directions. Some, some do it like this. I try not to singe my fingers and I do it from the side and I just I use the blue portion of the flame and then I use a bodkin to make sure that that hole is open nicely. And here you have a spring Chinook foxy blue tube fly.